Peter Brown from the Chamber of Commerce. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Thank you for letting me speak. Um, Peter Brown from here for the Pembroke Chamber of Commerce. Uh, talk about a couple of upcoming events in town t uh, this coming week. Um, we have our annual networking after hours at the, uh, for the month at uh, the Police Boys Club tomorrow night between 5 and 7. Uh, so if you any small business that would like to know about the Pembroke Chamber, we'll be meeting there. Um, the, it was established in 1980 with, from uh, Bill Bolter and countless other officers, police officers, and started a mission to create positive role models for young adults. Uh, we'd like to bring attention to it. So our after hours will be there tomorrow night between 7 and 5 and 7. So we'd like to see everybody there. The second thing I'd like to talk about tonight is the 8th um, the Annual Softball Game between the Pembroke Chamber, Police, and Fire. Uh, we're really looking forward to um, holding our own against police and fire again this year. We had a good time last year, and uh, we actually uh, coordinated, we created an annual Pembroke Day the same day. So this will be the second annual one. It'll be, be held at the Lieutenant Brian McPhillips Field on Mattachusett Street on August 19th, between 4 and 8. Uh, we'll have uh, touch a truck. Uh, the state police helicopter is coming in. We have a dunk tank, all sorts of children's activities. Um, we'll also have some fundraising done for the Pembroke Food Pantry, the Firehouse Food Pantry, excuse me. Um, Pembroke Titans Against Drugs. Also, we'll be picking up donations for the police and fire. We're going to have restaurants there that are going to have uh, got several restaurants that are bringing in their uh, some of their wares so that we can do some tasting. Uh, so there'll be plenty of food, burgers, and hot dogs. We also have some vendors that are coming in. Some of our local chamber. Uh, of Commerce members will be having some vendors tents so they will be showing up some of their uh, equipment and some of the, what they do for businesses so uh, hopefully you guys can make it um, we're expecting last year we had over we had over 1800 people show up it was a great event this year we've actually tweaked it a little bit so we've got we've got the whole all the fields this year so we're going to be set up in three different fields uh, the helicopter will be in the back right field. All the children's activities will be in the front left field. And then we'll have the center field for the police and fire softball game. So um, we'd like to see you there. We're also still looking for sponsors. So if you know anybody, any of the small businesses that want to still sponsor it, there's some sponsorships available. You can reach me at my shop at Tiny and Sons at 781-826-6163. Uh, or you can just email the chamber and I can get the information out here. Anybody that wants a poster or anything like that, I have posters and flyers at the shop. So, so that's it. Any questions? Excellent. I'll see Did you, you tomorrow night. Covered it all. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> all right, very, very quickly. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Thanks, Pete.